Hi again, everybody, and welcome to NJPW Extra. I'm Chris Charlton, right here in the NJPW Event Center, where New Year's Golden Series is behind us. We're on the road to the huge 50th anniversary event in the Budokan, as well as the New Japan Cup, and massive action is coming to the United States in the coming weeks. All of that to talk about, plus a massive eight-man tag is your featured match this week as Bullet Club take on Juice Robinson, Leo Rush, Clark Connors, and TJP. But first, let's take a look at what's happening around the world in New Japan Pro Wrestling this week. In Japan, championship action in Sendai and Osaka paved the way for the New Year's Golden Series closer in Sapporo. Two great events from Hokai KTL streaming now on demand on njpwworld.com with full English coverage. But Sendai and Osaka saw both IWGP Junior Heavyweight and Never Openweight Champions successfully retain. El Desperado kept his IWGP Junior Heavyweight title against Master Wato in a match where Desperado said Wato proved he had all the physical tools, just not quite enough mental wherewithal to get the job done. Wato wrestled with more maturity than we'd ever seen him, but it wasn't enough to escape numero dos and a submission loss. Meanwhile, in Osaka, Evil defended his never openweight gold against Tomohiro Ishii in the first lumberjack match in New Japan Pro Wrestling for almost five years. Those lumberjacks got involved early and often. Liberal early interference from House of Torture, but Ishii would strike back, and in fact, so too did referee Marty Asami. In the end, as Chaos and House of Torture were laid out at ringside, it was down to Evil to fight for himself for once. And that's exactly what the King of Darkness did. An intense, hard-hitting final stretch of the match, ending with Evil on top and House of Torture in fine form going into the closing weekend of the tour. House of Torture are not stranger to any heat, but it was Midnight Heat making their debuts this week on New Japan Strong opposite the LA Dojo's DKC and Kevin Knight. Ricky Gibson and Eddie Pearl controlled the DKC before a miscue led to a hot tag and Kevin Knight came in with high-speed blows and that world-class dropkick. The DK fire did its damage to defy his long-reigning tag champions, but in the end, Eddie Pearl managed to roll up with both hands full of ropes to secure a tainted victory. Gabriel Kidd took on Fred Rosser in a hard-fought matchup, and while things started technical with a battle for control of a headlock, it quickly turned into a slugfest. Chops, lariats, and wild rights and lefts would see Rossa come up with the upper hand with a sudden gut check, but Gabe would respond with a brain buster for two. Kid went up for a moonsault, but missed wildly, and in the end, after a near fall off of the running DVD, it was Rossa hitting the gut feeling for the victory. Headlining this week on Strong, Jay White continued his US of J Open Challenge series, and after demanding someone elite come out to greet him, it was AEW's Jay Lethal that answered the call. Lethal was fired up early, but after a quick distraction from Hikaleo at ringside, a short DDT would bring the match to Jay White. Switchblade would target the neck, but Lethal would fire back with a tope suicida and then hailed to the king with a big elbow drop. A complete shot and a blade buster would see Jay White return to the neck before the former Grand Slam champion went to the knee of his opponent. Lethal would gut out the pain and fire back at his opposition, but just as momentum was building, a lethal injection attempt would be countered into a snap sleeper and a blade runner for the three. Another great week of action then around the world in New Japan Pro Wrestling. You're going to want to catch the action from the tour closer for the New Year's Golden Series in Sapporo on njpwworld.com right now on demand in English. Plus some fantastic events coming up in the United States. March the 20th is next. Tampa, St. Pete, Florida, including the return of Mascara Dorada in the New Japan ring for the first time in five years and so, so much more. You're going to want to check that out as well as how about the return of the king to the United States of Suzuki. Minoru Suzuki will be in action April the 1st in Texas and April the 16th at Windy City Riot, njpw1972.com for the latest ticket information. Meanwhile, if you're in Japan, we're going to want you to check out New Japan-ism 
a fantastic exhibit at Gallery Amo in Tokyo Dome City. And in fact, we may be taking a little road trip to that gallery and to that exhibit. Check out NJPW Extra over the coming weeks for you to get a taste of just what it's like in that fantastic event. Okay, let's take you to our featured match this week. We're going to go back in time to 2021 in Texas and an eight-man tag team match. It's the team of Bullet Club facing Leo Rush, Juice Robinson, Clark Connors, and TJP. A fantastic match with Matt Raywald and Alex Kozlov on the call. Let's head to ringside. It's time. It is indeed. Bullet Club has invaded Texas. Bullet Club invading Texas. Just the latest stop, and they seem to be invading absolutely everywhere. We know the history they have in Japan, but as of late, they've been running amok here on New Japan Strong. Places like Impact Wrestling, I've had a chance to see it up close and personal. I've even had a chance to interact in the ring right here on New Japan Strong with the likes of Hikaleo. And you know what? How's that experience? Uh, you know what? From bell to bell, it was what it was. I have no problem when I take a loss. I have no problem taking a defeat. What that man tried to do to me post bell. Sorry, sorry, I can, man. Yeah, I you go ahead, moment. high five your buddies. It's Fantasma. I mean, it's Fantasma. It's the Fantasma. I, I heard you the first four times. The finesse, Chris Bay in the house. The newest member of Bullet Club. And the aforementioned seven foot beast, Hikaleo. Oh, what a, what a beautiful backflip off the top rope and his hat stayed on. Voted by fans in Japan as the war, as Bullet Club's cutest tag team, Taiji Ishimori and ELP. <laughs> I'm, sounds Wouldn't like something you you're very, very concerned with. I'm, I'm glad you brought that to our attention. I am, you know what, I may not always agree with certain members of the Bullet Club's actions, but I am excited to see what they'll bring to this contest. But you have to say they are Bullet Club's cutest tag team. I don't have to say anything. I'm not pulling you over. You can talk to me. Oh, it's your buddy. They're coming out next. Their opponents, some folks I've been very, very, very familiar with. TJP, Leo Rush, Clark Connors, and of course the flamboyant Juice Robinson. And you see him right there. Is, does he have a bull rope with him already? I mean, we are in Texas and we do know Coming up right here on New Japan Strong, we will see a Texas bull rope match between Juice Robinson and Hikaleo. This rivalry between the two has gotten so heated, it's got to be settled. And I guess it's got to be a bull rope match. Well, I mean, he's coming out here with the bull rope here, embodying the, the, the energy and the spirit of Texas. Everybody uh, has a bull rope in, in their closets here in Texas. Embodying the spirit of Texas and 96 Savage Juice Robinson is ready to bring it to the Bullet Club. What a what a colorful attire here by Juice. I don't know how no. colorful he's gonna feel like after he... We need more cowbell! I don't know if it's a good idea for you, more. my man. Always more. You can't get enough cowbell. You gotta have more cowbell. I mean he's jolly here. He's very jolly, he always is. But how jolly is he going to be when he faces Hikaleo in that singles match? You know what, Alec? Jolly is not the word for it. He's fired up, baby. He is here. He came right. You saw he went right swinging for Hikaleo and his child-bearing hips right there. Easy to do it when you got a bull rope. And let's not forget some of his partners here tonight, including the veteran TJP. The wild rhino is here, the captain, 
the second graduate of the LA Dojo. And the man of the hour himself, Leo Rush. A man who not too long ago. There it is. The man with the bull rope. Feel ready very to do confident damage. there, huh? He feels real confident with a weapon on. I mean, you can consider that a weapon. I mean, and you absolutely can, and it will be. It will be in a few weeks' time in that Texas bull rope match between himself and Hikaleo. I mean, this is going to be an exciting match, but uh, the, the statistics are, Matt, most members of the Bullet Club here on this team have beaten most members of, their, there it is. of their opponents. Wow, Bull this thing is us heavy. See heavy. That cowbell is no joke. My God. That's the, kind, that's the point this rivalry has reached. Uh, look, Leah Rush trying... He doesn't want to, he doesn't, of course he doesn't want to match with ELP. ELP has already beaten Leo Rush twice in singles competition before. That's true. But Leo Rush looking, wants to prove himself potentially. Well, he's got a match coming up. It's like a dream match with uh, Ishii, uh, Taiji Ishimori. That's right. I mean, it truly is a, is a dream match. Two of the greatest junior heavyweights in the world. And we're gonna see a little preview right now, it looks like. And it looks like uh, El Fantasma will be giving him a couple tips. So like you said, El Fantasma does hold two singles victories over Leo Rush. And as I was saying right before this match oh. began, and why does that not surprise me coming from any member of the Bullet Club? It's just, it's antics. Well, I, mean, I don't listen, know what else to say. The ultimate finesse who wants to get in the ring. I'm not wrong with that. And that's fine. And you want to match finesse with finesse, Leo Rush is the perfect person to do it. And Leo Rush doesn't call the shots around here. He can't just, you know, uh, finger a Bullet Club member and have his way with him, okay? Phrasing, phrasing. <laughs> but he can tell you who he wants. And hey, he can is, tell you how he feels, too, just, and he's letting Chris Bay know. That was inappropriate, first of all. And he's going to pay for it. The bullet, if anybody knows about inappropriate, it's all the members of the Bullet Club. As the, you talk about... You talk about speed, you talk about junior heavyweights. Chris Bay belongs on that list as well. Look at the finesse, look at the oh. athleticism of both these men. This is gonna be super fast. But Leo Rush is the master of elusiveness. Into the cover here, and kick out of one. And as I alluded to earlier before the match, you know, Leo Rush, someone who a few months ago thought maybe his wrestling career might have been over, had a pretty nasty injury, but got himself taken care of, rehab, got himself back even quicker than he expected, and he's here in New Japan to show what he's still got left. Look at the tag team work of Clark Connors and TJP. Two men that have history together, have been tagging for a long time. Uh, they had a, a rift between each other after Clark Connors oh. defeated TJP, actually. That's right. But they've been able to unite ever since Will Ospreay came back into the picture and dissed the whole LA Dojo. That's right. Tension between these two. He seemingly has some side. You know, it's a classic case of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Exactly. You know, something like that. Will Ospreay obviously taking quite literal aim at the, all the LA Dojo folk. Something, you know, TJP, almost one of those OG LA Dojo oh, people. He's, he's the OG LA Dojo guy. Absolutely. It's Chris Bay dropping the jawbreaker on Leo Rush. And now. Taiji Ishimori finally in the ring with Leo Rush and for now, real this yes, time. Yes, on his own time, on his own time. So on a scale of one to 10, how cute do you think Taiji is? Oh, and there's that, maybe you don't even have time to answer. The other half of world's cutest tag team getting in there and causing some havoc. Well, to, to answer your question, I would say a 10. 10, oh, so what he's, he's on the cover of your Teen Beat magazine. Oh yeah, I absolutely. You. I see him and ELP on the cover of Men's Health any day of the week, any month of the year. Look at that, just beautiful execution. Did you see him expand yes. all the way in the air? And a beautiful, beautiful top rope back rake. I yes, love it. classic wrestling maneuver. Classic. And Chris Bay. And it oh is my God, that was just, that's finesse. Right I don't know now. what was more impressive, the back rake or the hip swivel. Both equally impressive. 
Oh, are we gonna see oh. a six foot eight Hikaleo climb to the top? Don't fall now. Well, don't shake we, your hips up there, big more man. In the LP supporting him. This is beautiful tag team work here. Beautiful technique here. Gets over the top rope. Why? What a what technique! I'm Why am I you. not surprised? Leo Rush is in a lot of pain. He's got. He's been clawed. His back has been clawed. The audience can't believe it either. Oh my Ooh. God! <laughs> And the, the lungs almost collapsed there, and the man of the hour just got his breath taken away by a huge chop from the big man, and oh another one to follow it up, taking Leo Rush off his feet. I think his soul has left his body. Nicoleo throwing words at Juice Robinson. We keep calling back to it, lots of history. And oh, no, not the, not the tip pitcher. Disrespect. Respect. Not only that, not just the, just the maneuver itself wasn't, you know, inherently disrespectful enough. He had to spit in his hand before doing it out. But it wasn't just the left one; it was the right one as well. It was both at the same time. I, that, my point is that you're making my point for me. And Juice, look at that, wanting to get in, dying to get into this matchup. It's Chris Bay just standing on the throat of Leo Rush. Well, he, look, he's got he's got four seconds. He's the cover here. And the one thing I'll give, uh, I don't, I may not like what they're doing from a tactic, wise, you know, well, from an actual action wise, but their tactics, they're cutting this ring off very, very, very well. Thank you. I will give them, it is classic tag team, tag team psychology, tag team thinking. They know what they're doing. That, that's why they're so dominant they are everywhere cohesive they go. Unit. That is, that it's nothing else that is absolutely true. Is LP in here trying to clean house with Taiji. And Leo Rush is tied up in that corner. Hang up, Tria Woe. Oh, oh, no! How are we allowing this? Get some control, official. They got the foot in the inner thigh. Inner thigh? Inner thigh on each side of the inner thigh. About, hang upside down for me right here, Alex. I'll put my foot on your, quote, inner thigh, and we'll see how you feel. There's not a place to hang over. A kick out from Leo Rush. He's staying in this. He's still got fight despite everything. The Bullet Club has done to disrespect him, to pick him apart. Well, they're just punishing him. Leo Rush is coming off a, a hard-fought battle versus Tom Lawler, challenging Tom Lawler for the, the cover uh, here. strong openweight championship. Unsuccessful, but he put in a fight. But he brought it, of course, nonetheless. I mean, he was close. He was close. Don't take anything away from Leo Rush, and he stayed in this matchup. Basically a four on one for the past several minutes for Leo Rush. And now the repeated backbreakers from El Fantasmo. Oh, no, no, no. And lightning no. quick. That's how fast the man of the hour can turn things around. Never, ever count Leo Rush out. Well, that's why he's considered. And the audience the here in Dallas, Texas, chanting they want Leo Rush to get that tag. They want Leo Rush to just get out. And Juice Robinson getting that tag, and the big man in as well. The rivalry continues. Juice being chanted loud and clear in Dallas, Texas. And Juice is really good with those jabs. Juicy jabs, baby. Oh, oh. wait a minute. Don't get caught. You're about to get choke slammed. The big man catches him, oh. but oh, smart move going for the legs. Oh. Taking the tree down one chop at a time is Juice Robinson. DDT planted oh, in the it. center of the ring. Huge senton, and Juice Robinson, now he's looking to clear a little bit of house himself of the Bullet Club. Clear himself of these demons, so to speak. Well, that senton just pushed all the wind out of uh, Hikaleo. Good, get him, Juice. This started all the way back at Resurgence. Oh, what a power slam. What an athlete Hikaleo is. I mean, they've had beef ever since Hikaleo made his debut as a young lion in Japan. True. Uh, Juice had his number. He's been like the kryptonite of Hikaleo. But he went through a table recently, it's true. as he deserved. Juice wins at Resurgence. Hikaleo wins in a tables match. We're going to find out once and for all soon in that bull rope match. But right now, it is Connors and TJP looking to clear the Bullet Club. 
as people are flying in and out of this ring, left and right. TJ Peach, Chris Bay in the center of the ring. The Spider-Man, that is TJ. Oh, oh my God! But Chris Bay bypassing that, dive into the outside onto Connors. And Leo Rush! Following it up as well, this is Chaos Incarnate breaking out here as CJP goes flying oh out of God. the pile. All kinds of risks being taken here, and Ishimori's looking to now fly. Now Ishimori and Leo Rush oh. meet him. Oh, and the slugs, the fists are flying. I am looking forward to when this finally goes down one on one. But we're getting a preview here tonight, and boom, Leo Rush with the combo takes advantage. Springing off the ropes, and it's back and forth. Leo Rush so quick out maneuvering Taiji here, but Taiji oh! kicks him in the head, Shimuri bouncing off the ropes. <laughs> so fast as Juice now. Oh, what no, no doing? way. Oh, my God. Big gorilla press to the outside. Juice fired up. Feel like a strong guy, don't you? Looks like a strong guy, too, the way he just threw Ishimori onto the pile on the outside. And Juice might be looking to get some frequent oh fire my miles himself. He is looking to fly here on all the, all the members that have spilled out on the outside. Oh, my God. Big and a cross splash. Body. Right on to pretty much everybody in this match. My God. <laughs> and a high five for good measure. The juice is loose in Dallas tonight. I was looking to close this one out, possibly against Chris Bay here. Could it be that cannonball in the corner? Oh, oh my God. Smashing him right in the corner. And now. Looking to finish him could here. Could be it. Oh, watch out, Hikaleo. Cleaning the clock at Juice Robinson in and out. Very much like it. What do you do? Hey, what do you do? Oh, what yes, that's what I'm doing? talking about. Oh, come on. I mean, if you were going to bring it. Wait. Wait till you get your chance. Juice what are you Brown doing? Out here. Hikaleo's going to use it, so why not? Just you got it. Watch out. Watch out. Oh. Don't bring me. And that's it. Oh, that's the disqualification. Well. Yes, absolutely. I mean, come on, ref. You could have let this one go. Let this one go. I mean, it's Texas. We're in Texas. It's. It's Texas. We are in Texas and we'll be in Texas when that bull, ma rope, bull rope match goes down. But this was not the time. This was not the match. You know what? You wanted to send him a message and a All message right. received. Like sending a message. Man tried to put me through a table after the bell rung. Disqualifies himself, knocking Juice Robinson out with a bull rope. Damn him. That's all I got to say. I don't care. Could this be what we're going to see in their singles match? in their Texas but Bulldog that's match. It. Is this what we're going to see? Juice being laid out. It's going to be a singles match. It's not four on one. It'll be one on one. One week away until Juice Robinson gets a chance for redemption for actions just like this. If he even makes it. Things are not looking good for Juice. Let's not forget, it's Juice who asked for that match. He's the one who wants to be tied up with Hikaleo. He wants to get that measure of revenge. And I'm sure after tonight, he's going to want it even more. What a match to finish things up right here on NJPW Extra. Next week, we're going to be gunning for the huge 50th anniversary spectacular from Budokan Hall. We'll have news about the New Japan Cup. And we're going to be at NJPWism so you can get a taste of just what this incredible exhibit is all about. That's come next week. Can't wait to see you. Until then, Gokigenyo, sayonara.